Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to this week's video which as you can see by the title is very well loved. So finally I headed back into Home Bargains, I have had a busy few, what feels like a busy few weeks, in January I was just trying not to go out at all and then also in February I ended up catching you know what, which means I couldn't go out and actually felt like the ten, longest 10 days of my life. But then straight after that, I went on holiday um, when I was all clear and all well, so don't worry. So it just felt like I was literally not at the shops for so long. So going back into Home Bargains, I took a trip and went to the bigger one in my area. So I went out of my way to go and see what was new in and honestly, it did not disappoint. But with it now being March, there were so much new things in store as well as obviously it's Easter and Mother's Day so there were some bits and bobs in for that as well. Of course, I brought you guys with me when I went so we're going to go now and see what is new in store. But just before I do that, I want to thank the sponsors of today's video which is Exante. So I worked with Exante last month, as you guys knew, if you watched my Manchester vlog or come to Manchester with me, and I was talking to you about how I've been really enjoying their shakes. So I've actually just had a package arrive that is full up of loads more stuff. So basically I've just been stocking up on stuff that I want and trying some new things. If you haven't heard about Exante, they are part of the My Protein, My Vitamins, like the whole shebang. They do supplements, vitamins, shakes, meal replacements, everything. But what makes Exante unique about all of them is that they actually have their own programs. They have their own diet plans that you can follow. So if you're someone who really struggles to keep to plan or you just don't know a plan that's going to work for you, Exante do all different types of plans that are for different people, whether you want fast weight loss, whether you want stable weight loss, whether you um, have diabetes and you need to really maintain your different levels of sugars. So I just picked up a few new things this time. How cool are these I spotted on their website? So they're actually like mocktails, but they're full up of vitamins. They're sugar-free, added vitamins, and they're plant-based. I absolutely love this packaging. So I've got mojitos and I got strawberry daiquiris. I've tried a strawberry daiquiri already, but I haven't tried a pina, oh not a mojito, pina colada, sorry. How could I get that wrong? That's my favorite cocktail. I've tried the daiquiri before, but I haven't tried the pina colada. As the sun is absolutely blaring today, as you can probably not even see, I feel like this is very, oh, that straight away I got a great whiff. I feel like this is very appropriate to try. It's only four calories for a can. How nice would this be for the summer months? Like especially, this is what I like about companies that do things like this, is like if you are on a plan, like you can dress this up in a nice little glass with a little umbrella and you don't feel like you're missing out. So, oh my God, that's so refreshing. It doesn't even taste alcohol free. It just literally tastes the same as a pina colada. Oh, that's so good though, because it's literally full of, full of goodness. And it says three in one benefits, energy and focus. It's good for hair, skin and nails. And it's a metabolism booster because it has magnesium and vitamin C in it. So not only are you uh, saving yourself the calories, you're also doing yourself a favor and just boosting those bits up. So I picked up some drinks and then they do things, I am obsessed with these, they sent me these last month, a variety pack, but I ended up picking up the two boxes of the individual ones. You guys, if you like nuts, these, and you like snacking, these are amazing. The sweet chili and honey is my favourite, I think, but the buffalo is pretty awesome too. They're only like, they're under 100 calories, they're 90 calories per pack, sorry, and essentially they're just really nice little nutty, nutty goodness. So of course, Exante have given me a discount code for you guys again this month. It's simply Bella Bambina. This will get you 35% off the entire site. It only excludes box plans because they're already reduced because they've already made a bundle, but 35% off everything on the site. So if you do wanna know more about Exante, know more about the plans, know more about the bits and bobs they do, if you really wanna give yourself the tools to be able to help yourself in situations like when you wanna go out and have a cocktail but not have the calories of a cocktail, or maybe if you're doing a dry month, for example, it's just, don't even think about it just as diet plans. Snacks, drinks, a bit of everything. Oh, I might have also got a water tumbler as well. I have been drinking out of this. It's been very motivating. I really like the um, the branding colours of it. It's very, like, fresh and clean. I will also link their Instagram down below because they do like sharing all their success stories. And also, I will link down below their YouTube channel. 
So, without further ado, let's go into store and see what was new in Home Bargains and then come back and I'll show you guys what I picked up. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. So starting off with the star buys, I spotted this cocktail which really stood out to me. So if you are in need of a real cocktail with real alcohol, then I spotted this one that looked lovely, as well as this Calypso, looked very retro but very tasty. I spotted a bit of the Body Shop actually in Home Bargains at 49p. If you've got any travel plans, this could be really nice. And I know Dr. Pawpaw is a brand loads of people like as well, and this was only $1.99. In this store they actually had some of the Home Bargains loungewear. I really liked this beige set here. It was £16 but that is for the set. So you do get the top and the bottom which I think is a really really reasonable price. Price at about the right point. They also had this lovely like greyish one as well. Reminds me very much of the Mrs Hinch ex Tesco range so lovely and affordable they also had some nice silk style pajamas they had this like grey velvet one which I thought was beautiful they obviously had it in the blue as well heading over to the other side I also spotted these snugglers as you can see the RRP was meant to be around 30 pounds but they were selling them for 20 as it is March of course all of the Easter stuff has come in stores there's a little bit of an overview and I absolutely loved if you had a fire because fires seem to come be like really trendy at the moment and videos people are getting fires they had this entire matte black range of like log holders and the pokers and the wood holders and things like that which looked beautiful and also don't forget guys mother's day is at the end of the month They had these beautiful gold mirrored trays, but these are like mini versions. This would look beautiful in a beauty room or in a bathroom with some products on it at just $4.99. Unfortunately, there was no silver option, but the gold is stunning. They also had the very famous Home Bargains bonbon jars in stock in this store. And I really liked the um, sort of holographic bubble look of that vase there as well. How adorable is this mug? I'm really regretting not picking this up. It was only $1.99 and for all the biscuit lovers, like me it was just a I should have bought it so much this is a dressing gown that home bargains are doing and it's part of the Jeff um, banks or Jeff and Co so the loungewear again but it's a beautiful nude color and it's waffled it looked lovely it reminded me a lot of the one that I have from Pri the Primark wellness section Heading over to the Beauty and Cosmetics, they do have the Skinny Tan Chocolate Tan in store. Although guys, I have tried this and it for me was not great. So don't always be convinced by the brands that you see. However, they did have Wet n Wild, which I will always attribute to. 99p for this awesome highlighter. Wet n Wild is such great products. If you do have any travel plans this year as well, they have this really good reusable um, liquids bag that you can use for traveling. I can't believe I've seen these in store. So this is such a home sense dupe. They are loads of chrome different sort of um, bowls and ice buckets and cocktail shakers that have got the beautiful stag head on the top. And look at these prices. They are so incredibly cheap. I loved the bowl at the top. Definitely that one was coming home with me. The ice bucket was really nice too, but it was just a little bit too small. So I didn't end up picking that one up. But I just thought that was so great to see in Home Bargains. What a home sense dupe. This little side lamp as well for $19.99 I thought was lovely. And most importantly, get ready for summer guys because in Home Bargains they do have the outdoor rugs again this year starting at $19.99. And then as the sizes go up, they go up by £10 all the way up to $39.99 for the largest one. This pet bed I seen on their Instagram, it is £40. But it's basically a mini sofa for dogs. I was so tempted to get that for Jerry. They also have the dog food containers now, the cat food containers, and then they also do the food for the birds, which I bought at Christmas. These are lovely little gifts. And if you haven't seen them already, they've got these lovely little bird swinging seats that could go nice in a garden. This was new as well. It's like a casserole dish, but it's 
like the shape of a pepper, although it is very small. If you can see in comparison to my hand, I don't think it would do enough for like two people. But nevertheless, it's very cute. They also had these pans, which were like the cast iron, so a knockoff and dupe of Le Creuset. I really liked the look of this gravy jug at just $2.99. It looked like the perfect size and a really good shape for one. They have lots of the fridge storage in store, the acrylic one. I've actually already got this container. I really like it for like separating cheese and meats. I just feel like that's a good way to organize your fridge and very hygienic. And of course, as you can see, it's super affordable to do it. These were new in store, which are little like trifle dessert dishes. It was two for $9.99, or they did do the big one for $7.99. Felt these were a little bit expensive considering they are just a glass bowl essentially. Heading into the Home Bargains party section, I spotted that they had this donut wall, which looks so cool. Unfortunately, though, it was like aimed at the wedding because it says don't like I said I do on it basically however the Prosecco wall didn't have any themes so I thought this was incredible for $2.99 and also look at this little rainbow thing it's only $3.99 I have seen these on small businesses for so expensive but how cute would that be for a little baby's room I think that is just adorable Now a bit more of the Home Bargains Jeff Banks furniture. This is the little teddy footstool that I seen. I thought this was adorable. It had the brush gold hardware and of course the grey teddy actually on it. I thought that was beautiful and such a steal. I've showed you guys this before but this is a doorstop which I just think is lovely. I love the natural jute look. I was so surprised to see this in store. I've looked over Amazon for one of these. This was only $37.99. I thought that was an incredible price. On Amazon, they're like £100 plus, but it's a heated error, which is great for the winter months for your washing. Any makeup enthusiasts out there or artists, they did have this massive train case that was £50, and they also had the little train case, but it was still substantial at $19.99. And anybody looking to travel soon, they had this incredible Trek Buddy backpack that was basically the perfect dimensions for all of the new um, travel allowances, like hand carry for planes. This, I, I should have bought it. It looked like such a good bag that could just fit in loads. Carrying on with a bit more of the furniture, they have got a new bar cart in store. I loved this one, $29.99, and it was just so sleek and beautiful. And I spotted these little lamps, which I thought were beautiful. If you've got more of like a Scandi home, they're so cute. Um, and I also spotted this like nautical glass ball on the rope. I don't know where you'd use that, but I think it is beautiful as well. They did have the mirrored home sign as well at $19.99. These were quite big. Moving on, they had the tray that I showed you back at Christmas. Obviously, this is leftover stock, I think. They did have it in silver, though, which I hadn't spotted before. Another home sense dupe. They had this beautiful hourglass for just $7.99. I liked that it had the structure around the outside. It did have a bit of glitter in it, which I would prefer if it didn't, but um, it was still a beautiful, nice and heavy piece and really affordable. I really liked these napkin rings as well. They reminded me of something the White Company does and it's only $1.99 for four of them. This was an incredible home bargains bit of furniture. It was $39.99, but it was this big, um, Chesterfield footstool literally this would look stunning in like a walk-in closet or a little beauty room I was so tempted to get that if they did a few more colors they've still got the home bargains dupe basket also in store at just $2.99 I love the beautiful seagrass woven this um, lamp as well the wooden tripod floor standing lamp from home bargains was also a great deal if you want a bit more of like a rustic look in the house they have got obviously the scrub daddies and the scrub mummies still in stock and then all the astonished products have come out with some new scents so we've got like the lemon and and uh, rosemary one there. We've got the white lilies for the daily shower shine, grapefruit, etc., etc. I love to see that they're adding on a lot more scents. 
a little overview of the Zaflora, but they didn't have the new one in store today, which was unfortunate. I'm going to keep my eye out for that one. Um, and then finally, I spotted this little cake kit, which looked divine. So guys, that was everything that was new in store. Lots to show you. I don't know how I managed to compress it down really to that time, um, but yeah, I'm quite proud of myself. So I did end up picking up quite a lot of stuff because new in times means bigger hauls. I actually feel like I held back a lot more than I was expecting, so I'm really happy about that. By the way, I'm just gonna say it in case I hear it in the edit, but Andy is currently my partner playing darts in the other room, so if you hear an odd bang, I don't think you should, but if you hear an odd bang, it's because he's throwing darts on the other side of that wall. So the first thing that I picked up, I couldn't not get this at the price it was at. It, you guys seen it in the video. I had to get the Prosecco wall. I know this is just cardboard, but £2.49, £2.99, whatever it was, I had to get it. I am planning on doing, finally, our housewarming party. We've been in this house over a year now, but we never got to have one last year because of restrictions and then weather and yeah, basically it was just not cool. So. If you have watched my previous Home Bargains videos, you would have seen that I got like the balloon arch. Basically, Home Bargains boss it, absolutely boss it with their party stuff. So I've just been picking up loads of bits and bobs as I see it. And I am going to do myself a full on Instagram party. Like, you know, you see those companies that you can pay that come in and do like all the balloon stuff and pampas rings and things. I'm going to do it all. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it all. It'll probably take me days and days of planning before. But I just thought that this was so cool. And I mean, it just says pop fizz clink. So to be honest, if you don't want Prosecco, you could have a wine wall, you could have a cocktail wall. Um, but I mean, Prosecco is just nice and easy. And I love the aesthetic. I love how it's really clean and it's silver because silver is my color over gold. I'm really hoping now that the balloon arch I bought as well was silver. I think it was. I'll have to look back on my video. I'm pretty sure it was in the Christmas one that I did. I'm pretty sure that it was because I want everything to match perfectly. I've seen this in store. I don't think I showed you guys in the video, but this is a Tony and Guy shampoo. And I actually needed a shampoo and I thought, mm, Tony and Guy is supposed to be quite good. So this is the Intense Softness Shampoo, full fiber strength system, restores softness and shine from root to tip. So I ended up picking up this. I think it was literally less than two pounds. Um, so I'm really hoping it'll be all right. I try and switch up my shampoo and conditioner all the time. I default to herbal essences, which I love, but apparently your hair can get used to shampoo and conditioner. So I do like to switch it up. I then also picked up the 1001 Carpet Fresh Pet. I always get this one because obviously I have a dog and um, I prefer to get the pet products where I can because I'm just really conscious that he's got a very very strong nose. I'm just conscious he's like really low to the floor and like he's on the carpets all the time. I just don't want those chemicals to get up his nose when they do make pet friendly ones. Anyway, the only thing is they... Have you guys ever seen any other scent that they do? Because I do like... This is Thai Orchid and Passion Fruit. I do like this but I prefer like the clean the blue one, the clean, like, fresh linen scent. Um, but the, I've only ever seen the pet one in the Thai Orchid and uh, Passion Fruit. So let me know if they do any other scents that you've seen. I've then seen these and I really liked the look of them. So I go back and forth with using, um, what are these even called? Like toilet, toilet fresher. But I've seen this, which was a limited edition packet, that which are basically just all white um and obviously you know me neutral home neutral style these are usually really loud goldish colors which are just not a bit of me at all i end up just buying the blue ones because they're like as clean looking as you can get but when i seen the white ones i had to grab them there's a pack of five i don't know if these are from the uk because everything's in a different language so maybe they were I don't know, maybe they were limited edition for something else. But these um, come in a pack of five and this was £2.49. I wish I picked up more now to be quite honest. Boring purchase, but I needed these. These were 49p. Obviously spring is among us now. We are in March. I think the official first day of summer is actually at the end of March, I think. Um, but spring I constitute as March, April, May. So I picked up a pair of gardening gloves, these are the silicone ones because I'm going to be planting, I've got some planting to do outside, I've got to sow some seeds, pull some weeds, all that good jazz. 
White Company Dupler, as I showed you in the video. I had to grab one of these because I absolutely love my White Company toweled bath mat. Um, it is one of my favourites that says the White Company down the middle. However, the White Company do do this exact same, and I mean it's pretty much exactly the same. I'll put a picture in the screen here. Bath mat that they do. Um, it's just the border bath mat and I think this was, what was it, three pounds? Less than three pounds? But yeah, it's 100% cotton and I just love the look of toweled bath mats because that is what you get in a hotel. So as you know, if you followed me on my home account, which if you don't, plug here, please go and follow it. Um, I'm really trying to grow on there and you guys love seeing all the home pictures and inspirations. Um, but yeah, I love, love toweled bath mats because everything in my house, I want it to feel like a hotel and luxury. So that's what I do. That's how I make my house. In the kitchen section, I just picked up some of these. I was in need of them. They didn't have any that were just all gray. I'm pretty sure I've bought gray and white ones in there before, but anyway, I picked up these ones, which are a mix of like pastel -y colors. I think these were 49p. For the kitchen, also, I picked up some cooking liners. I just got them for the baking tray, 99p. Another party bit from the party section, I picked up one of these foil fringe backdrops. Um, how long is this, actually? Oh, it's, it's, oh, wow, that's quite, is that the drop? 91 by 245 but basically I just thought that that would be a nice backdrop they are really annoying to like walk through but when I'm doing my silver party and all of this I just think it will add a little something so pick that one up and that again was like 99p they had the range obviously with all the stag heads so I ended up picking up this out of everything I wasn't a huge fan of the cocktail shaker I just think it looked a little bit weird I did like the ice bucket but it was quite small for an ice bucket so I ended up picking up this which I think is really different because I like when people come around I always put out a bowl of crisps and I don't really have any nice bowls and um, so this is gonna be perfect for that and it's just different it definitely is something that you'd see in home sense but this was $3.99 I think it's, it's just it's very different you definitely see something like this in home sense for over 10 pounds so pick that up I've been waiting to film this video because poor Jared boy is running out of toys. I put it over on my Instagram and asked you guys, and also I will ask you here if any of you have dogs, what, have you got any recommendations for chew toys that they will not destroy? Everybody says Kong. I know he's got a Kong that we fill, which he doesn't particularly like enjoy. It was it was like a tenor for this little thing, and he doesn't even really care about it. Um, but like the rope toys and stuff, he still manages to destroy them. However, I spotted this in Home Bargains, and this is um, Tough Woof, Rough and Tough Dog Toy. Um, so I picked this up because it looked really promising. I mean, he will definitely like nibble off all of these little points, but um, this looks freaking industrial. So I ended up picking up this, which hopefully should last him a little bit longer. I think this was $2.99. Yeah, so it was only $2.99, which is very, very cheap. And this looks like something that Kong would do. So fingers crossed with that one. Um, so bless him, he's been not allowed to have that because I had to film this video. And I also just randomly picked him up this um, silver glitter bone. I don't know why I just decided to get it for him. I don't think he'll be able to destroy this very easily, but then he always does surprise me. So yeah, but it's also got a squeaker. So I will do you all the favor and not squeak this. Cause if you're like me watching YouTube with Jerry, usually next to me and someone does a haul and they squeak this, that's it, peace is gone. I then picked up a couple of products for Andy, which he's also had to wait for since I've done this video. Um, I just got him the Nivea Men Deep Cleansing Face Wash, and I also got him the Nivea Men Protect and Care Rehydrating Moisturizer. Core products, $2.99 a piece, I think these were, or this might have even been a little bit cheaper. Core products, he usually uses the Clarins uh, Charcoal Face Wash for men, which I buy, but I, I buy him that for like Christmas or his birthday because they're more luxury products. I'm not gonna lie, he probably really does not care with the difference between that. Uh, like he's not into any of that stuff so when it comes around to Christmas or his birthday I will always buy him that as a set but he does get through them pretty quickly so these are just kind of stopgap products 
for the meantime. I then picked up the crepe gravy jug that I showed you in the video. My mum just pointed this out and she was like, that looks like a really good gravy jug. And I was like, oh yeah, and I don't own a gravy jug, so I'm gonna pick one up. But it looks really nice. It actually looks like it will hold a decent amount of gravy as well. So not that I've hosted a roast yet. It's just me and Andy, which obviously we wouldn't need this. Um, but I just thought it'd be really handy and it was very, very cheap. Always need to stock up on my toilet products because I am forever cleaning the toilets. I swear I put this stuff down them at least every other day. So I went, blue is what I've been using recently, the pink one. So I decided to go for the ocean scent this time, which I think I'm actually going to prefer. Um, I don't know why I go with blue. I just liked the branding of it. So I decided to go with that. But my holy grail is the Harpic Pine. Harpic Pine is the best scent absolutely love pine so I decided to pick up one of each as we have three bathrooms I like popping these one downstairs one upstairs um but I'm not gonna lie OG and then the final thing I picked up of course I had to because we are going into we are in March sorry keep forgetting because it's, it's the beginning of March we are in March it is Easter, which means all the Easter goodness, so I ended up picking up a candle in the scent carrot cake. This smells divine. Literally, it smells of pure cinnamon loveliness. Like, I don't even really like carrot cake as a cake. Like, I would eat it, but it's not my first choice. But this smells lovely, and I absolutely love the illustration on it. How cute is that gonna be? To have out during March, when obviously it is Easter, um, and of course I love it as well because although it has the orange on it of the carrots which is really cute for the like decoration it's all white wax which goes with my theme obviously it's not some garish like green or orange it's just a really nice crisp clean looking candle and we all know but they do not get enough credit Wickford and Co candles are the one there is absolutely no reason to buy a Yankee candle when this is $2.99 and just smells so good, burns for ages, scent throw is on point, definitely. Always grab yourself quick fruit and cup. And that is the end of everything that I picked up from Home Bargains in March. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to store, seeing what was new in. Obviously I didn't pick up everything I showed you, surprise, surprise, but I did pick up quite a lot of stuff um, and I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so excited to see how this party comes together. Literally everything is from Home Bargains. I've got stockpiled for when we can actually have that party. But yeah, apart from that guys, I will leave you to it. I'm gonna try and get out in the sun. It is lovely and beautiful today for a change after all of those storms in the UK. That was not a bit of me. That was not fun whatsoever. I hope you all kept safe during that. And I hope you're all keeping safe still. If you haven't already guys, I would really appreciate if you could give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so make sure you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm uploading every Wednesday. Sometimes we get a bonus Jonas upload on a Sunday, but I've been so busy recently but I've got lots of exciting stuff coming on guys and I cannot wait to share it with you so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video stay beautiful ciao